hello team and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm gonna guide you how to apply for devops job in order to get better opportunities okay so i'm not gonna show you like some magic trick or something basically i'm gonna show you in what ways i used to apply and how did i get lots of opportunities because of that okay yeah so if you are new on the channel make sure to subscribe we are very close to 10,000 subscribers and it's a big milestone for me and i would really appreciate your uh, part in that okay okay also i'm available on uh, telegram as well as instagram so if you have any uh, doubt or you want any guidance on anything you can just ping me there i'll be happy to assist you okay okay so coming to today's point so basically if you are going to apply for jobs i assume that you are skills ready and you are ready to go okay so the first thing that you should do is prepare a eye catching resume okay and trust me i have the best resume in the market and this resume has got me lots of opportunities i am not at all just saying that you should uh, get it or something it is even you can see it's the best resume that you would see okay and let me just go walk through this resume really quick so that you can understand how i have prepared it so here in this section i have written like my details phone number and how much experience so that interviewer can quickly understand what exactly experience you are having okay and here whatever uh, uh, certifications you have done just uh, mention their badges here okay this part this part like nobody else does it as of now but my suggestion please do it because it makes a really good impact and also it makes your resume look uh, like very uh, neat and clean okay next profile professional summary so i just have written three lines okay the reason because if you are writing too big profile summary it's not so good because the interviewer cannot like go through that completely okay and also like very crisp point i have written you can just uh, see it okay and mentioning your technical skills i have always always said please mention your technical skills through in categorized way so that when interviewer goes through it it is very easy for him to ask questions as well as see like what are the skill sets you have knowledge on okay then work experience so this is the section where i define what are the general work uh, general uh, things that i used to do as a devops engineer you can even see these are the exact things i used to mention when i was giving interviews so you can just mention these also okay then mentioning project so okay this part very important do not like write your project details in this way the way that professional summary written written many people write in this way but my suggestion do not do that trust really always use a tabla tabular format so that everything is clearly visible you can see project one abc project organization you can what whichever company you have worked on tool set and technology used okay and then responsibilities whatever whatever your responsibilities were there okay and these are the exact things that i used to do in a project and I have mentioned it so you can utilize this part okay and since i was actually working as a shared resource so i have like added multiple projects now this first was like normal project normal devops project second was azure devops project so there also i have mentioned all the things that i used and even you can see very clearly how clearly everything is visible that wh what are the tools that i have knowledge on what are the tasks that i used to do okay so in this format uh, you should mention okay so three projects i have mentioned and also certifications i have mentioned at the end okay and awards okay even if you did not get award my suggestion mention one or two awards like something okay because it it gives a good impact on your uh, like professional career so for me these are the real awards that i received i have just added them okay and at the last it will be your educational uh, thing like with uh, whatever you have done 10 12 and uh, college okay okay so just simple simple thing you can see it is neat and clean and very clearly everything visible okay now what i would say uh, in case you want to uh, get this resume you can just join my telegram channel this resume is uploaded there in the pinned list so you can just get it okay so first part done let's say resume is complete now next step is to apply the, to the companies okay now there are like so many companies you can choose to apply right but i wanted to give you one suggestion uh, which companies like this one there are so many so my suggestion for these companies uh, for you to like to go to this company's website and directly apply there if you are having exact like uh, skill sets as well as the uh, uh, like years of experience they will call you okay these are some of the mnc companies that call people when you apply directly okay so if you are getting opportunity from outside for this company that is fine but but do not forget to apply on these companies directly from their website okay and one more thing i will i will just explain you how you should apply what is the best way okay so 
uh, for MNC companies, mostly you should apply. Okay. Secondly, one more thing that you should do is uh, like using Nokri. In, in case you are in India, you might have used Nokri.com. This is one of the best. Like, exactly, this is number one site for getting jobs. For me also because I got I got like so many literally like 15 plus opportunities of interview I got from this site. Okay, how do we get that? Two sections which are the most important. This section, uh, like see, key skills. So basically these are certain keywords. Okay, so because of these keywords, your uh, interviewer will uh, like uh, your profile will be getting noticed or will be getting more and more views. Okay. So as much as whatever things you mention here, based on that, your profile will be getting noticed. Okay, first thing. And you can see here, I have added all the important things that I work on. DevOps, Docker, CI, Git, GitLab, Jenkins, Maven. Okay, and here, if you look closely, I have not added uh, Nexus. Okay, because Nexus is a certain tool that is being used everywhere, but you don't need to specifically mention in a key skills, at least on Nokri.com. Okay. Also, even though my uh, AWS is not my uh, like primary skill, but I have added it here because AWS captures a big market. Okay. So just to make sure that my profile stays up, I have added AWS as a key skill. Okay. So when you are applying through Nokri.com, please request make sure to use uh, at least you can just uh, take a screenshot of this. And if you are adding this, you will get a lot of opportunities speaking from experience. Okay. Okay. Now what you need to do uh, if you see here uh where is it profile last updated today okay that means this profile has been updated today so to make sure that your profile stays up okay in the list and it's being noticed you need to make sure that your profile is getting updated on daily basis what you can do simply just wake up in the morning open anything just add a space or something and delete it click on save once you do that uh, your profile will be like updated latest so in this way what happens that uh, your profile will be staying up and like above everything and hr will be able to notice okay one more thing that i want to suggest somewhere there might be a section which will ask like uh, availability to join okay that means uh, when you, you can join the company so in that section my suggestion would be always mention that uh, you are serving notice period okay the reason because most companies uh, give you like 90 days of notice period and recruiters they are not ready to accept that much okay and then they won't give you a call in my suggestion uh, like even i was having 90 days notice period initial i was not getting calls so i just wrote in availability to join that i am serving notice period okay because when recruiters search the profiles on Nokia or any other website like this so basically they filter out the candidates who is serving notice period and they will reach out to them only and once they reach out to you, you can say, okay, okay, since I was not getting calls, even I have so much of skill sets. So I just wrote, I'm serving notice period, but my notice period is 90 days. Okay. Most of the companies will be ready to accept that, that, okay, uh, we will wait for 90 days for me. You won't trust me maybe, but the company that I am currently working in, even for that company, I wrote that, uh, I have been, I'm serving notice period. Even I was not, and they agreed to wait for 90 days. Okay. Other than that, there was one startup company for whom I gave interview five or six round of technical uh, technical round. They also were even ready to wait for 90 days. Okay, but still, as I say that uh, initially, if you are simply wrote that you have written that 90 days available, 90 days notice period, they won't give you a call. Just to get a call from recruiter, you need to mention that I'm serving notice period. Then only your profile will be showed to them because they search very clearly who is serving notice period and they will reach out to that candidate only. That is that is why I'm saying put this in your mind to keep your profile as serving notice period. Okay. And next what you need to do, as I said, make sure that your profile is updated on daily basis. Okay. Nokri. And yeah. Okay. Next, uh, what I want to tell you through Nokris, you can apply directly also, right? If you go and uh, click on jobs and here, let's say I'm searching for uh, Docker. Okay. So I can search for Docker and you can see everywhere, wherever it is, there is a requirement you can just apply. Okay. Now for applying, you can simply open this and you can see a job description. You can read it and then you can apply. Okay. Now, one more thing that you should definitely use is a, uh, okay, let me explain you scenario, current scenario, what happens. Most companies, there are many companies who, who are, what they are you doing? They're using a AI tool, which will uh, like do the first step or uh, first uh, line of shortlisting candidate based on uh, uh, resume. Okay. So what they do, 
they will match certain keywords from the uh, where is it see from this section for example skill section so they will match these skills with the ones you have mentioned in your resume so uh, if ai is doing ai will simply see okay if this keyword does not uh, exist in the resume i will not shortlist the candidate okay so and you know like we cannot uh, do these things manually it is not so easy okay so to what to do in this case okay okay team so let's say like we have this uh, page with job description and there is a job we need to apply okay so before applying my suggestion see the section of uh, the skill sets copy this okay and go to uh, search for job scan okay it's a website which is ats resume checker and job search tools which will help you to understand what kind of things that you should add in your resume to make sure that your resume get shortlisted for that what you need to do upload your resume let me add it and we have already copied the uh, skill sets which are mentioned in the uh, yeah so now here i will add the job description okay and click on scan so what it will do it will match the specific keywords from the job description and in our resume and then it will let us know what things we should add in our resume okay yeah so it is still uh, running the analysis let's wait for a few minutes okay so here you can see uh, certain things are there okay main things that we need to focus on is skills okay if i click on skills so you can clearly see key certain keywords are there which are added in job description but not inside our resume okay you can see like this keyword bash as dlc agile so these things we should definitely add in our resume as well okay certain keywords are hidden because of like paid version but i guess you can work with it okay most of the things that are available you can just add it in your resume and if a company is using ai based tools to shortlist a candidate based on resume i am 100% sure your your resume is going to be shortlisted okay so see this is one of the application that i know about job scan which does this task okay but there are other applications also available which maybe i will search and i will let you know which you can use okay so using this is one of the best best tips uh, i can give you okay actually this was given to me by one of my follow uh, one of my subscribers uh, ritika malhotra who stays in usa so i'm just sharing this with you also okay so this make sure to use this okay coming to next things like uh, see now i told I, i guided you how you can apply from from nokri in the best way possible right next is like over linkedin also my suggestion would be ki increase your connection okay because if you have like bigger connection what you can do with that you can ask others to uh, for a referral not everyone is going to give you referral but out of like 15 or 16 people there will be one or two people generous people who will help you and give uh, refer you in their company the thing is about referral is that ki uh, being referred to a company has better impact and it's give it gives you better probability to get uh, selected in the company okay so my suggestion uh, increase your connection uh, post contents and increase your connection followers so that you can uh, get like uh, referrals from other people okay not only that for example see for example if i show you my profile you will see almost every single day i post content and like at least now i'm getting good good amount of like and because of that I, my connection is increasing and i get lots of opportunities i cannot show you actually right now but i get lots of opportunities for working in like as a freelancer okay so my suggestion make sure to increase your connections and maybe ask for referral also that uh, since uh, if you post uh, good content on regular basis you will get better opportunities for uh, for that what's uh, uh, you will get better opportunities as a freelancer or a full time job also okay now in linkedin also we have this job section where you can basically uh like uh, select certain things like filter out certain things and you can uh, like uh, start applying for jobs directly from here okay for example you can say cloud engineer why these are the things showing to me because i have like because my profile is customized for this as well as whatever my search history is like this okay so one second let me close this and let me yeah okay so here you can basically like uh customize things and you can directly apply from here also for example let's say uh, 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 let's say i want to apply for azure devops in wachusa and see okay one more thing that you should focus on you can see uh, for this essential thing 
so they have also posted a job okay and here you see just two applicants okay and this is the best opportunity because there are less number of applicants and you can directly apply okay since, since there are only two applicants so if you are applying three applicants you'll be having a better opportunity to get the job okay so check out because if if you are seeing that there are like thousand or 500 plus applicants there is no point in applying to that job job why because uh, recruiters they won't be able to get through that 500 resumes and your time won't come in my opinion that is what happens okay so look for lesser number of uh, applicants and then directly apply to them okay so these are another ways and yeah so as i was saying that you can even apply to companies directly on their website for example this is for infosys i can simply search here like docker okay and site location is like all click on search okay and uh, yeah you can see here devops consultant and i have like skill sets and i can use the job scan tool to customize and add these things in my resume and then i can view and do apply okay the thing is ki uh, infosys it is one of the best companies to join and you can like directly apply to it uh, directly on the portal and they will definitely call you for interview for me and my friends who have applied to infosys we have always got and call for uh, giving interview so my suggestion mnc companies like infosys wipro tcs make sure to apply to them directly that is a very good option okay and other than that this like there is another site which is known as hirist insta insta hire and there are so many similar to uh, this one uh, nokri.com but but in my opinion nokri.com is one of the best uh, best companies sorry best website to apply for jobs okay okay so these are the most important things that i used to do to get opportunities for job okay uh so if you are uh, if this video is useful for you if you think that this is going to help you to land a good job opportunity then please make sure to give it a like if you are new on the channel make sure to subscribe yeah so that will be all for today and thanks for watching have a nice day